Hey y'all, so today we're doing a part two in VFX graph. This one I'm focusing based on a commenter's ask for something more akin to like a cigar smoke or something like that. So kind of interesting turbulence based dispersion into the air above wherever the source is. I think it's a cool idea. So we'll do something very basic. I want to give you all the bare bones so that you can then build on top of it, make it something truly uh, spectacular but I want to at least show you how I would start this project and then get y'all going. So first thing I'm going to do for cigar smoke or, or cigarette smoke, just so that I can visualize it a bit better is I'm going to create a cylinder. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And this way, at least I have a good frame of reference for what I'm trying to do. So let's say I come over here, darken this out to a dark brown. Take the smoothness and the metallic all the way down. And that'll work for me for right now. Let's say I then wanted to duplicate this, squash it down. And bring a an emissive kind of uh, material onto the end of this thing. I'm not going to play too much with lighting impacting the particles themselves, but from here, what I would then do just so that I have that visual frame of reference is I would go to create visual effects. Let me do it over here actually. So it's a little bit easier to see visual effects, visual effect graph. And then we have a few options from here. So you might think we'll do the simple trail because it's already kind of the steam trail. The issue with this is that the way that this template is built is in a very stylized way. So it's one singular strip that's kind of cranking up and stretching along this path. And it makes it very, um, in my opinion, limited for what I want to be doing. So actually what I want is something with a trail, but that has a bit more of an organic trail. So I'm going to pick this head and trail here. So I'm going to hit create, I'm going to go to smoke, I'm going to drag this into the scene. And then I can very quickly get this up and where I want. So I'm going to use this viewer here in the bottom right, this reticle, just to get this place roughly so that I can make sure that it's looking how I think it ought to be. Let's go into orthographic. Looks fine for now. Okay, so we can see what's happening. It's obviously not what we want it to be. So let's make a few changes just to make this start looking a bit more like smoke. So I'm going to double click on the VFX graph asset here, drag it over to the right so that we can see visually what we are doing and what's happening. So if I come over here uh, without dissecting the entirety of the template, we have our constant spawn rate. So if someone's going to be puffing on this, I already know that I don't want it to be constant. I'm going to want a periodic spawn rate with a break in between. Then we have initializing particles. We have setting lifetime, setting size, setting color. So setting color, I know I don't want. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and already it's a bit better. Position shape is fine for now. Set velocity is way too high. So let's take that down to 0.1 and 0.2. And now it's just kind of dribbling off of the end there. That is because as we come down, we have multiply color over life, and then we have gravity. So I want to turn gravity off. And now it's moving up, which is good. Then we have linear drag, which I'm fine with leaving for now, and a trigger event, which will spawn the trail. So I want to go ahead and change the default dot out for simple smoke. So I can either click default dot, which will open the correct folder down here, and then drag in simple smoke, or I can hit the small circle right here and type smoke. All right, so now that I've done that, let me turn the velocity back up just a little bit so that we can better visualize what's happening. Okay, so from here, I want to ensure that the size is taken down a good bit. So let's come over to uh, lifetime and increase that size and decrease that to 0.1 to 0.2 maybe. Now we can see everything seems to be working somewhat. 
All right, so I want to come down here and maybe in the output particle, I'll set the size over life of this thing. So I'm going to come down, hit space bar, say set size over life. That'll work for now. And that way the smoke is diffusing a bit more into the air. And then I want to come over here and instead of setting size based on the input of the last, I'm going to set size over life. And let's just turn this way, way down. There we go. But now it still kind of looks like fireworks. So it's still shooting up and then stopping. So I want to add something a bit more interesting here. So let's say I add in, in the update particle, a turbulence. And now you can see that, that doesn't quite work. So why not? What's happening is that the turbulence is being applied over here in the tail but the tail is also trying to follow the head. So what I want to do is actually take the turbulence out from here and add the turbulence over here. And now you can see it's starting to follow appropriately. So I'm just going to play around with some of these numbers here. If I want to, I can also come over here and create a node and say, I want a random integer and say, hey, plug that into my drag, and you can set that between one and three. And now you'll start to get some interesting things here. So now what I might want to do is come all the way back up to the top, change the spawn rate to hitting spacebar underneath, go to spawn and do a periodic burst, turn off constant and make it a two count every three seconds maybe. And now here you can see the smoke is probably lingering for a bit too long, so I want to come over to wherever the color is, and that's actually a multiply color over life, so I want to add in a set color over life because it gives me a bit more finite control. Um, let's not do a set color, but instead a set color over life. And then from here, I can crank the alpha forward a good bit so that it will disappear sooner in its life. Maybe from here I can crank up the speed at which it gets bigger. And then over here, I just want these to last a lot longer. I think that they're interesting, but let's drag the size up. All right, so having just turned up the strip capacity, particle strip count so that we can have it chase for longer, I can now turn this up a bit. So let's say the count is one every two seconds. Five every two seconds. Then maybe I'll up the size a little bit sooner. And I just want to set the color to something that's a bit less intense at all times. 
feel like that white is looking a little bit too stylized for me. So let's say the alpha is 50 here and 25 here. And the main thing here is that we're using the heads and tails to speed us up. Um, whether or not I would even stick with the smoke image as the main particle here with the tail behind it, to be determined. Um, I'd probably also do a lot more drag. So I feel like the drag here would be something like... I'm going to take out this and actually just manually make the drag 0.1. Point two five with an intensity of five. All right, so then let's just drag the smoke over here, go back into the scene and start to see what this is looking like. I feel like there's a lot more that I would like to do with it, add some more interesting shapes and whatnot of how the smoke is coming out, maybe do some uh, attractor shapes in here. But for an initial pass, I think that's cool. I might animate the tip of this thing to pulse brighter or not, especially if I could have that pulse in line with when the smoke is coming out. And I'm imagining in a game like uh, the new Batman Arkham in the Quest 3, some character standing down a hallway smoking a cigar kind of like that, I think that would certainly work as an effect from a distance. Hopefully this was helpful. That's how I generally approach my VFX projects is using the templates, adjusting them, getting it up to speed. And then from here, I would just keep tweaking, adding in more custom textures and things like that instead of the default ones inside of the engine. Let me know what you think. I hope it was helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.